this lesson is about ankle lift and chi walking. Okay. Okay? So ankle lifting is a big part of the, the chi walking form. And we go always go with walking before we do the running. It makes sense? Yeah. You have to learn how to do that. Plus, everybody walks more than they run. Even the ultra marathoners, they're walking more during their day during a run, than a run. So we have the ability to focus on these things first. Once you get these down, then it, it transfers nicely into a run. Okay, so the big thing is lifting versus pushing. Okay, we don't want to be pushing and using our legs. So I want you to try this as an exercise. When you're when you're standing here, if your posture and if you push up down like this. So try to when you come up, go up on your toes. Go up on your toes, right? Okay. All right. Good. All right. So feel that in in contrast to just lifting up your ankle. Just lift from lift from your center, okay, so think, for, think of how you just had to relax, your foot will just flop, your foot, foot points down, that's a lot less energy, yeah. feels a lot easier, which one would you rather do? Probably the second one. Yeah, the second one is a lot better, so it's a lot, much, it's a lot easier to do that walking form that way versus pushing and, 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 uh, and leaving a lot of energy on the, on the road, okay, so we don't want to be doing that. So the key part is to work from our center and what we want to go over right now is called the psoas lift exercise and what that is is I want you to get into your posture stance okay so go ahead so go ahead and just get in good good posture stance here all right and I want you to try to go into let's see I want you to go into your single leg posture stance so try to get a single leg good and come back down and then do the other one okay and I want you to do that several times with good posture, okay? I want you to think about that movement coming from your center, okay? Good. Just lift your ankle, okay? Good, okay. And then the next thing is, I want you to try this. I want you to bend over at the waist and try to lift your ankle, okay? See how hard, that, so much harder that is? Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you feel working? Uh, back of my legs more. Yeah, so you can feel that working more. Oftentimes your back will yeah. feel it more because you're bent over. Also your quads are working more. Okay, so we want to we want to be in a good posture and position to create the most efficiency from our very strong core muscles called the psoas muscles, which are uh, the big hip flexor muscles. They attach in, the, in, in our the beginning of our femur and go into our spine. So they're very deep muscles and that's where we want our energy to be spent when we're running and moving because those are the strong muscles. Our body is designed in a way that the stronger muscles are in the middle of our body and the, the weaker muscles are, are further out. So you got your little toe muscles. Oftentimes people are pushing and when they're walking they're pushing with their toe and all your weight's coming on that toe and it's just a little muscle, the little, little parts in there. So that's a lot of strain on your body. So we want to try to minimize that strain. So I want to talk a little bit about conventional walking versus chi walking, okay? So I'm going to demo this a little bit. We're going to go over chi walking, or uh, the, the conventional walk is the foot swings forward, lands on our heel, and I'll just kind of show you a little bit here. So I'm relaxed, my core's not working, I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of walking like this, my hips are behind me, shoulders are back, and I'm landing with the back of my heel and I'm feeling that those muscles work a lot harder, okay? So I want you to try this a little bit. Go ahead and just do a regular walk. You're probably used to this. Just walk. Okay. Good. Okay. Great. And then come on back. Okay. Alright. So good. Now I want to do uh, a teaching of how to do the chi walking technique. And basically it's like a lot of what we've already talked about. Aligning our posture. Forward, okay, so the big thing now is we're going to get aligned up here. I'm going to pull in through my center and then I'm going to lean from my ankles and I'm going to pick up my feet. And what I'm going to do is I walk, my shoulders are forward, okay, and my hips are right over where my foot lands, okay. So basically, I'm feeling a lot less energy strain there. I'm not pushing as hard through my foot and uh, I'm just really relaxing. I'm still landing with a heel strike, so if I'm still landing with my foot underneath me more though, instead of being out too far, okay? So what 
I'm going to have you do now is try a few things with this form. I'm going to kind of get you started here. I want you to get into your good posture stance. We talked about it. Align your feet and legs. Lengthen your spine. Okay. Set your pelvis. Okay. Level your pelvis. Sit up in your chair. Good check of your shoelaces. You got it. Okay. Now I want you to do a few uh, marches in place, like the posture stance, one-legged posture stance. Okay? Okay? And as you do this, I want you just to lean forward and to, to go forward here. Good. Okay. And then I want you to try it again. I want you just to go a little bit less up and down. Uh, the key part is we want to think about our, ink, our, our wrists are up, back of our head is up, and our heels go up, but our knees stay down. So I'm not going to be up like this. I'm just going to I'm just going to lean forward from my waist and just pick up my feet and just like that. Okay. A little bit too far. So I want you to get used to going a little bit less, like getting okay. take, taking these little steps. Okay. Try that out. A little bit less. Lean forward. There you go. That's a little better. Now go back to your normal walk. Okay? Now I want you to feel what feels different about that. Uh, I you feel a lot more pressure on my heels. Okay, you feel pressure on your heels, and then you also feel um, what do you feel in your calves? Go ahead and keep walking. Okay. I can definitely feel a little bit more. Feel more in your calves? Okay, good. Is your core engaged? I uh, know. No, okay. Alright. Okay. So now I want you to now take those shorter steps. Go into your chi walking form. Just kind of take those little steps now. Go ahead, just lean forward from your ankles. Good, short steps. Swing your arms a little bit. Good. Okay. All right, and come on back. Yeah, I feel a lot lighter and looser. A little bit better. Yes, yeah, so a little bit less. Good. Take a set. Take a break here. Okay. okay. We're gonna go over arm swing, which we didn't go over yet. But I wanted to kind of show you the contrast of one versus the other, which we just went over. A big part of this that we didn't go over quite yet is the arm swing, which is just getting your arms to swing behind you, okay? So what we do is we want to keep, and we'll go over this in the arm swing section just a little bit, but I want you to think about getting your elbows bent a little bit here, and, and when we're walking, we're going to have our arms kind of low to the ground a little bit more. We'll walk, we'll walk more, you know, a shorter, a longer a longer stride or you know just got a shorter uh, you're going slower so you're going to have a longer uh, pendulum of your arms swinging but that's still the emphasis is the arms are swinging behind you as you pick up your speed with walking you'll have your elbows bent more and your elbows will go behind you okay so you never want your elbows to go too far out in front of you because you'll swing out you know you'll swing out like this that's what we want we kind of want to be you know right over our body just these little steps okay so i want you to try this go ahead and just stand with your posture stance again okay don't step on the worm <laughs> okay so good step posture here okay pulling through your core okay lengthen your spine align your feet and legs okay now bend your elbows a little bit and i want you just to bend your elbows and just uh, swing your elbows back towards me there you go good So I, I have my, my hands back there just to get the feeling of, of swinging your arms backwards to the rear. Then I want you to be nice and tall and li lined up and then lean forward and just go into a little walk here. Good. That looks better. Okay. Go ahead and do the other way. Take a little bit less step behind you. Okay. So just kind of get your feet in front of you. Or feet behind you. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Good. And then do it again. Go up here, okay? Feel 
know that core working now. Okay, cool. Let's turn around. One more time. Okay. Good. All right. So that's kind of the part about the chi walking form is just to kind of get engaged with the with the core. Uh, feel your body leaning forward slightly and take some small short steps and then incorporate some arm swing with it. What we'll do in the begin running section, we'll go into going from the walk to the run, which is a lot of fun. Okay, so we'll get into that next time. Okay, let's go ahead. Alright, we'll see how that is. Chili, really? Yeah. <laughs>